Although there are certainly exceptions, I am often wary of PC enclosures that are labeled by the manufacturer as budget. This is often just marketing speak for cheap or flimsy, and unless really pressed by budget constraints, I don't like to recommend a case that I feel will underperform expectations or lead to an unsatisfying build experience. A case company that always seems to hit the right marks is Corsair, so when they approached me and asked if I wanted to take a look at the new case in the spec line and told me that it would only cost $49 and would be available today, I figured this might be one budget product worth its salt. So let's take a closer look and see if my initial assumption was correct. Corsair first launched their spec line of cases at CES 2016 with the spec Alpha. It was a fairly bold design, incorporating a lot of aggressive looking angles and colors into the exterior shell while the interior remained mostly tame. It came in three different color varieties and is still available from Corsair for $79. The Carbide Spec 04 chassis is the next case in the spec line. You can see that clearly many of the same design cues remain in place with the angled front panel and bold color choices dominating the exterior appearance. However, the cut up nature of the front of the case has been markedly toned down, and although there is still the large front panel air grill for ventilation, this looks like a more continuous piece of engineering rather than a Jekyll and Hyde situation. The Spec 04 is very lightweight and easy to manipulate while building. This is both a good and a bad thing, as while it's a bonus to be able to easily turn or tilt it, this also means that the construction materials are less robust than we might otherwise expect. But as I think will become a theme when looking at this chassis, we have to keep in mind that this is a $49 case. Overall, the footprint is actually quite small, as the case is less than 8 inches across. This does pose some problems when looking at the back side of the motherboard tray where the cables are usually routed, as clearance is extremely minimal. To compensate for that, Corsair has molded a bump out into the right side panel, and in the interest of maintaining symmetry, the left side window is similarly contoured. This should provide some additional clearance, although my personal preference would have been a slightly wider overall construction and no bump outs. Keeping our focus here, we can see that no rubber grommets are included to cover the cable pass-throughs, although at this price point, that is fairly standard procedure and I don't fault Corsair for that. There are a total of seven cable tie-down points, which should help align your cable clutter with the proper routing channels. Right here we see the screw heads which, when removed, will allow you to bid farewell to the included 3.5 inch drive cage if you so choose. You'll also need to take out four screws at the bottom, but once you do you'll open up a good amount of room in the main compartment. The drive sleds in the cage are pretty flimsy unfortunately, but they are toolless, so working with them should be pretty painless. When the cage is removed, you'll have to take advantage of these mounting spots on the wall for 2.5 inch drives that do come paired with their own cable pass-through points for cleaner routing. In a nice touch for a budget case, Corsair has included pre-installed standoffs for ATX motherboards. The case is also compatible with micro ATX boards if that's more your flavor. There are some nice ventilation options available to you with the Spec 04. The rear of the case will support a single 120mm fan as is the norm for cases of this size, and the top has room for two more. The front panel appears to have space for two 140 or three 120mm fans, although Corsair's documentation shows only compatibility with two 120mm fans here, which I think is likely a typo. I've reached out to them for clarification and will update the video's description when I hear back. Unfortunately, only one of these fan mounts is populated as the case will only ship with a 120mm fan mounted as a front intake. As I've been alluding to, this is likely due to wanting to maintain the $49 price target. I would suggest adding in at least an exhaust fan when building in this case, and also remember to clean your components regularly, as the front mounted dust filter is non-removable. The front panel I.O. is a little sparse, with only one USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0 port. The reset button is also difficult to press, which is actually a desirable feature when it's mounted on top of the case, but an unnecessary inconvenience when on the side. When the button is on top, you run the risk of accidentally pressing it by resting something on the top panel, or maybe if your cat happens to jump up on your tower. So having the button recessed is a nice preventative measure, but when it's on the side, it's not really necessary. The Spec 04 is available in black and gray, black and red, and this black and yellow variety. I opted for the yellow version as you don't often see cases in this hue, although I suspect the other two color options will be better sellers and easier to match with other hardware. 
While I certainly have some minor complaints about this case, and there are undoubtedly some small changes that could have been made and still maintain that budget-friendly tag, the Spec 04 is a solid choice for beginner builders. It's good to see Corsair expanding its range of available options and not just focused on high-end products or those with $170 to spend on a case. If you're a fan of a few funky angles and aggressive lines, the Spec 04 might just be for you. I'm Brian with BPS Customs. Get subscribed to the channel if you're not already, and thanks for watching, as always.